Hey, it's Roy Newgate, and uh, well, I don't have really have much to say. This Q and A has been so long overdue, but I don't have any real excuse as to why I haven't gotten it out. You know, by now I'm just I just procrastinate on a whole nother level. I keep telling myself I kept telling myself, oh, I'm gonna do it tomorrow or this weekend or some shit, and it just never, never happened. But I mean, we're here now, so you know, let's let's get right into it. Uh, the first question is. Why is Sukuna so goaded? And man, I mean, there's so much to say about, you know, his character and everything. Um, he's, the, he's easily one of my top top three favorite characters in Kaizen, along with uh, Gojo and Toji. And, you know, the, the wait to see, you know, what he's all about is just absolute hell. Because, um, I mean, yeah, we got to get the Cullen games out of the way. And, you know, there's always all this talk about how, you know, if he if he beats or loses to uh, Gojo in his prime and stuff like that. And I don't, I don't you know, I don't know the direction Gege is really going. I'm not sure if um, um, he'll end up being the one to fight uh, Gojo end of series or if it's, uh, you know, Megumi or, you know, um, Yuji. But, yeah, no, nah, there's just so much to love about him, especially in Shibuya. Shibuya Sukuna is just on a whole nother level. There's so many quotables and, you know, the, the I mean, Shibuya in, in itself is just a fire-ass arc, so, you know, that speaks a lot. That says a lot about, um you know, the series as a whole. But um the next question is, do you ever plan to expand the channel into different types of content? What got you into anime and manga? What are your favorite series? Um, man, I... I mean, yeah, I really, I really do want to expand into other contents. Like, I wanted to cover uh, Boruto, Dragon Ball Super. Um, I'm not caught up on my hero, but I wanted to do that. You know, catch up and do that too. And uh, I don't know, the other, 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 maybe outside of anime and manga too. You know, uh, uh, I mean, because I do have a lot of interest. So, I mean, I'm not, sure, I'm not sure if I would want to make a separate channel for all of that, but. But yeah, no, nah, I just got to find the motivation because <laughs> that is my biggest struggle, like easily just, you know, getting the motivation to um, uh, get to work on the content and everything. Um, and what got me into anime and manga? Well, what got me into anime? Well, the first anime that I saw were actually I'm not sure which one it was either. It was either Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh when I was five and I first came to America and I saw it, I mean, yeah, it was one of the first things I saw when I, uh, when I started watching TV here, and, I mean, I didn't, I didn't know they were anime, I thought they were, they were just, like, you know, American cartoons, you know, at the time, so, um, but it was, that was, like, the year 2000, uh, probably, like, five years later was when I watched my first anime, when I was around nine or eight, and, uh, I remember, I remember the exact day I was at my aunt's house. I didn't know what Cartoon Network was. I saw, I saw this, um, I saw that, I saw this dude, you know, his hair turned golden and everything. And, you know, and I, I saw he was fighting this villain. I thought, I thought the villain's name was, uh, no, no, I, I, the villain was Frieza. And then they were talking about this Super Sand. And I thought it was, I thought it was Super Sand the whole time. I didn't know what a Super Sand was. So, but the whole next week when I was hanging out with my friends, I was like, yo, did you guys hear about this thing called Super Sand? And they were like, oh, you mean Super Saiyan? And then we just got into this whole, like, you know, uh, dialogue about Dragon Ball and how cool it was. And um, I didn't have cable at the time, so I was just heated because I couldn't watch this shit every week. And then I guess like a few months later, we finally got cable. And then I was like just hooked on that shit. Um, but yeah, I mean, but yeah, that's when I that's when I really knew what anime was and. Um, I started watching Toonami, started seeing all these new sh other shows like Rave Masters, Zatch Bell. That was the same year I watched One Piece for the first time as well. And um, and Naruto, that's when, you know, that's when everybody got hooked on Naruto. But um, uh, and then when it comes to manga, uh, the first manga I read was Naruto. It was uh, during um, during the war because. Uh, I guess it was um this was some years down the road. It was probably like 2010 when uh, everybody in my school was talking about the war and everything in the manga and how everything had progressed and in the anime they were still, you know, 
um it was still all this filler and you know i just wanted to I, i wanted to you know find out what was happening and then you know just got into that and then after soon after that you know it opened the door to all these other all this other manga i mean i wasn't really into manga before that but then it's just like you know why wait for all this all this fire content to get animated you know when i can just get straight to it but yeah uh my favorite series or well my top five i mean it fluctuates but right now if i had to put a list together i'd say well in both anime and manga my number one is tough because it's between dragon ball and jujutsu kaisen and dragon ball has been my number one for years ever since i started i got into the you know into the medium but um no kaisen has been applying some heavy pressure like some serious pressure i mean i i I mean i don't even know what to say like it's just i I can't tell you how many times i've reread the hidden inventory arc and um shibuya but it's just i don't know it's 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 so high up there for me but i just can't bring bring myself to put it like clear of dragon ball you know as a favorite series so you know i just have those two like tied as number one for me pretty much uh well yeah other than that my favorites also include hunter hunter uh kingdom one piece bleach code geass attack on titan so yeah uh next question kind of asks the same thing about expanding the channel um uh, and yeah i mean not even just when i have like a bigger you know fan base uh mm. You know, at one point I did want to do like travel blogs. It's like tw- around like 2018, I was traveling a lot, but I wasn't into YouTube. So, uh, I guess you know maybe next year when I start traveling again, uh, I, I might want to get into that as well. Um, but yeah, not even just when I get a bigger fan base. Uh, though I should be working towards a you know a goal like that now. I, did, I think I said earlier in the year that I wanted to get 10k by the end of this year. So yeah, I should definitely get to work on that. No, no. Nah expanding my channel would definitely help with that um what other series you enjoy and if you plan on making content on them or sticking to op well yeah i mean i listed this uh series is man that's that word's always fucking me up the the anime the manga that i enjoy uh uh yeah i mean i really want to make content on dragon ball super especially i mean in kaizen 2 of course I've, i've already made one uh jujutsu kaizen video um i also had another one planned but yeah (laughs) you know how it goes but yeah hopefully i could get to that what do you think will happen in op chapter 1008 also how would you have handled op chapter 1007 if you were older son yeah that just shows how long ago i should have got on this (laughs) uh but um let me check 1007 real quick because i forgot what happened there uh oh it was a whole thing with chopper and everything um and the cure uh yeah i mean it's, it's not not much i would have changed I, like I, I thought everything was pretty well done especially with her Hi- Goro. we got to see him in his prime form i think that that was pretty i think that was perfect i'm not sure if i would have had chopper smack the shit out of queen like that though <laughs> but yeah everything else was pretty solid and uh i, f- I fuck with how Mom- momonosuke is uh you know being more self-aware and uh growing and you know getting used to his devil fruit and taking responsibility you know as the as the leader of this alliance and the whole info dump with uh cp0 is pretty cool too all right, the next uh, question to ask: Do you think Gojo versus Sukuna will happen, or how do you think will how do you think will the fight go against Sukuna if he gets completely summoned? Uh, uh, and he also says I want Megumi to be the main key for this exorcism. To be honest, uh, hmm. Well, currently I'm going with Gojo because uh, he just has the his um. I just have a hard time imagining how somebody counters him without like something like um. You know prison realm and obviously at this point prison realm won't work on him again you know the one advantage that 
you got so hard to utilize prison realm is gone and now that you know he's he's gojo is completely focused you know so once he gets out that's just it's curtains at that point but that doesn't you know there's a, there's a lot we don't know about sakuna he may have something else that may work on gojo so you know i won't rule him out completely but at the moment i'm definitely going with gojo easily He's, I, I don't know if I should say easily after I just said that, but you know you get what I mean. I, I can't see I can't see him losing at the moment. Uh, what's next? What are your future plans for the channel? Man, I just wanna I just hope I could find the motivation to be consistent, bro. That's the first thing, cause I remember one stretch I was releasing like I guess once a week or something close to it, and and I I mean yeah I want to get back to that and maybe even more often, but um uh. I mean, you know, you see Sin, I think uh, his his best he was uploading like every day or damn near. And uh, yeah, that's that's the kind of work ethic I want to adopt. And uh, you see Brago, he's putting out videos like four or five times a week. So yeah, hopefully I can get to that. Uh, you know, the worst part is just the editing. That shit is absolute hell. And I don't really want to, you know, hire an editor for all that shit. You know, I'd rather do it on my own. But, but yeah, I don't know. And I'm, I mean, I guess another thing is like I'm not I'm not really that experienced as an editor, so it's like, uh, I don't know. Maybe when I get better, it'll be easier. It'll just be seamless. So, I guess we'll see. How much do I have to pay you to narrate a book for me? Nah, that's free of charge for you, my guy. <laughs> but nah, for real though, yo, yo, sometimes I really do love hearing myself talk. So, <laughs> yeah, like sometimes I just put out voice notes when I could have just made it a tweet just to listen to myself. So, yeah um top five arcs bro i'm really bad at lists like really bad but i'll tell you actually no i got it my number one is uh the hidden inventory arc star plasma vessel all that shit um number two uh coalition arc in kingdom number three the cell saga Number four, Marine Ford. And number five, Pain Arc. So yeah, that should be my top five. Um plan on making plans on making JJK content. Yeah, I have been planning on that. And hopefully I mean I don't know, hopefully this whole Q and A kinda like, you know, invigorates me. Is that the right word? Invigorates? Yeah, yeah, it should be. Yeah, but um <laughs> uh yeah i mean yeah hopefully that helps this helps you know get me started back in uh the content creating thing and um and yeah um yeah i only have one kaizen video up i should definitely have more by now especially because like how much there's so much to talk about and there's not that many content creators for kaizen on youtube either and there's so many topics that haven't been explored so there's a lot of a lot of opportunity there most and least enjoyable part about making content well the most enjoyable part is just you know just the, the getting the feedback like you know having people are either um opening somebody's mind or somebody commenting on something that they, they, they some a new idea that i wasn't looking at or, or something and you know that just it's just the whole overall discussion part of it you know just exchanging ideas pretty much and the least enjoyable part is just the editing, bro. That shit is fucking hell. I mean, I, you know, sometimes I wish I could just, like, write out an essay and then just, you know, have it just translate into a video within seconds or something. But, <laughs> but yeah, um, but, yeah, no. Nah, I remember my first time editing when I made the, the whole Mihawk and Shanks video. That shit took me, like, oh, I had zero editing. Well, as far as, like you know this sort of these sort of this sort of content you know making videos for like one piece and stuff like that i had zero experience with that so yeah that shit took me like i don't know eight hours nine hours maybe and over time and you know i started to speed up the process as i got better went from that to like seven hours to six to five to four to three then my best probably so yeah, I mean, I'm getting better with it, but it's it's still still pretty excruciating. Um, well, yeah, especially when you have a long video, like when you're doing like a 10 minute video, it it, it could be pretty quick. But then when you when you want to do like 20, 25, 30, it's just it is just like 
so excruciating. But um, it definitely depends on what you want to put. Because, you know, sometimes you can just put, like, you know, just scenes from, uh, you know, the series or whatever, panels, and just have them, like, loop endlessly. But then, I don't know, I also want something, um, something that's pleasing to the eye, you know, for the video. So that, that extra little effort does go a long way sometimes. Um, why does Zoro always get lost? <laughs> uh, yeah, who knows? I don't know. I remember somebody who made a theory before saying, uh, it has something to do with him being from Wano and he's always just, he gets lost because he always heads in the direction towards Wano or something like that. But, but yeah, no, who knows? Who knows if there's a deeper meaning to his gag or anything? Yeah, I guess we'll. If there is, we will find out in this arc. Otherwise, it's probably just <laughs> probably just that Toji analysis one, bro. That's probably the one video that I'm maybe the most excited to make right now. Cause like, I mean, I got the whole title figured out, the whole con you know the, the, the thumbnail, everything you know, just you know the content. Like I have all the bullet points down. So yeah, um, I don't know when, but I'm gonna get it out. I'm gonna definitely get it out. Um, top anime manga characters and why? Well, top five anime manga characters. Uh, well, number one, you already know yourself. You know that's Whitebeard, my favorite character in fiction, and that's self-explanatory. I don't, I don't, I don't think I need to get into that. And right after that is Goku, for other obvious reasons. You know, I mean, I had a whole uh Goku Avi for like three straight years. You know, I mean, uh, that's what my whole account, my whole Twitter account was based on, you know, obviously. But yeah, after that, I have Zoro. Um, and then I also have Sei from Kingdom and Gojo. So, yeah, that should be, that would be my top five right now, I'd say. Uh, What's next? Top five favorite One Piece characters. All right, number one, Whitebeard, obviously. Number two, Zoro. Number three, uh, Fujitora. Number four, Aokiji. And number five, Luffy. So, yeah, that's my top five right now. Uh, what's next? What do you think are the... Who do you think are the strongest characters in Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen? Top five. All right, in no order. Uh, there's Gojo, Sukuna, Geto, Yuta, and Toji. Yeah, it should be Toji up there. So, yeah. Yeah, that should, that should be the top five. Oh, I forgot we forgot we actually have a name for this motherfucker now, Kenjaku. But um, but yeah, now we also need to know. Well, we also need to see, you know, how high up Maki is now that she is uh now that she's free. <laughs> uh, you know, with the heavenly restriction being fully realized now. Thoughts on current weekly Shonen Jump and how you rank the new rookie mangas. As far as uh current weekly Shonen Jump goes. Um, yeah, I like the direction a lot of the, uh, you know, the mangas are going, because it's like, a lot of them are at their, I guess, most pivotal, most, most, <laughs> most pivotal points in their series, so, yeah, there's, there's just, there's, there's a shit ton to look forward to every week, you know, stakes are high, there's a lot of theories going around and stuff like that, and so, yeah, um, I definitely think they're in good hands. How would I rank the new rookie mangas? Yeah, I probably can't give you a good ranking because I'm not caught up on a lot, but I'll definitely get to that. And I don't know, maybe if I do another q and I'll be able to answer that. Next is top sports manga. Um, Right now, the only like, like sports anime manga that I've like really been into is, uh, um, well, Kuroko no Basket, Run With The Wind, and Haikyuu. But I, no, I'm definitely going to reach uh, Slam Dunk soon and uh, Ippo. Especially because a lot of my friends have have it as their top one, uh, so you know, yeah, I, sh I should probably get to that like next month or both of those, you know. I'll definitely find the time, and, and yeah, I guess it's the same deal there. Your three favorite things about One Piece? All right, off the top of my head, I'd say like the flashbacks and backstories. I think those are done pretty well, and then there's a uh, the sense of adventure with One Piece. And there's whole, you know, the whole mystery aspect and, you know, how it ties into the lore and everything. Like, uh, remember when 957 came out, there was just so much that we didn't know about at that point about, uh, you know, the rocks, pirates and everything. And, you know, that, that chapter just 
shook the whole fan base and even up until this point is what is it it's a thousand and seventeen chapters in and there's still so much that's you know left to be uncovered so yeah there's a lot of potential with that so i think that's one of the most uh i think that's one of the best aspects of it just the just the setup that's there you know and the opportunity to expand on a whole lot of things and you know it makes me wonder just how much one piece we have left because there's just so much to explore but but yeah that's that um and what are some of your favorite hobbies damn my favorite hobby i don't know if i'd call it a hobby maybe i would uh just hooping you know like bro i'm always at the court probably oh right now when it's uh it's warm outside obviously uh i'm probably out there like three four times a week if i can usually i mean definitely always there on the weekend saturday sunday and we're always just there hoping from you know there's, there's a whole a huge group of us probably like 20 30 of us to pull up every sunday and saturday and just hoop from 8 a.m to maybe 2 p.m and it's just I don't know, it's just so exhilarating every week, you know, it just, it never gets dull, you know, and, uh, and I said it's therapeutic too, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, I don't know, like, I, I, I can never be down when I'm, you know, I'm going into the weekend knowing I'm playing ball, you know, so, yeah, it's, a, uh, it's definitely my favorite thing to do, uh, biking is cool too, and I want to get back into gaming, because it's, it's been a while, um, and probably traveling too, because like I mentioned before, I was traveling a lot, um, a couple years ago, but, yeah, it's been it's been it's been ages. But uh uh I also also like investing in cryptocurrency and you know, just doing research on different cryptos and stuff like that. So that's that's fun as well, you know. Obviously because there's a the whole earning opportunity there and everything. But yeah, I mean that, that kinda rounds out my list. But uh yeah, I mean that's pretty much the end of the whole YouTube section. YouTube the whole Twitter section of this YouTube Q and A. So I think I'm going to split it into two parts because there's a whole lot of questions between YouTube and um, Twitter. So, well, you know, the whole YouTube community section. So uh, I guess I'll just do this now and then probably maybe tomorrow or this weekend. I'll get to the other the rest of the questions from the community from the community tab. But if you happen to have any other questions that you want me to answer in the next video, you know, you can just comment them down below or anything like that. I don't know, I'll probably try to get more in-depth if I wasn't in-depth enough. But yeah, as always, just let me know. I'll catch you on the next video, though.